in red ink color. That's right. Our broadcast today is, as always, live and in living color. Oh, I tell you what. I'm so glad to be here, and I'm going to talk about Jesus. That is what we're going to do. We always do. We love Jesus, and we're so thankful that we can be here every Sunday afternoon. And I tell you what. i got a story for you today, and it's, it's a good one. I tell you, God's Word is just full of wonderful truths for us. And it helps us to know how to please and, and make it to heaven. That's right, Chesley. And you know, we want to go to heaven. Oh, this gospel train is chugging at the train. Chugging at the train. This chugging at the train. This gospel train is chugging at the train. Chugging to the glory land. Oh, get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right, Chesley. Who can go to heaven? It's so silly that love the Lord and serve Love him and serve him. And it can't be that you serve the old devil too and then you serve Jesus too. No, you can't do that. I tell you, it can't happen. That's right. I tell you, when you love the Lord, you just, hey, you don't want to serve that old devil. That's right. We don't want to serve that devil. We want to serve the one true God. So, well, what's going to happen up in heaven? I'm oh, going to see Jesus. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Going to see Jesus. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. That's right, Chesley. So it's great to know that. So it's wonderful to live for the Lord. And because he loves you and he helps you. That's right. He loves and he helps. And we have God's holy word that helps us. The title of our story today, and it's not a lie story. Oh, no, it's not a lie story like that. No, we're talking about it's the truth of the one and one true God. Don't you dare worship us. And Paul and Barnabas said that. I tell you what, that is what Paul and Barnabas said. Can you imagine? we're going to do, Chesley, we're going to go ahead and get right on into our story. And in, in Acts chapter 14, we have a wonderful story about how that, you know, I tell you what, you, 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 I know what it is, what he's talking to them, you're going to give the glory to God. That's what we want to do, is give the glory to God at all times. And this is exactly what this story is going to talk about. And, and you know something, I know, I know one, 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 one guy that didn't. I tell you what, there's one guy that didn't. We found out in, in fact, it's in Acts chapter 12 and verse 20 through 23. And there was this man, he was named was Herod. He was a leader. And, 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 and they just talked about how great he was. And they started praising him. They did. They was praising him and saying, oh, you're a God instead of a man. And, and he said, he liked it. You know what he should have said? He should have said, no, sir, you don't worship me. But he, he liked how they were worshiping him and saying he was a God. And I tell you something. And God didn't like it either. God was no, you, he won't give his glory to another. We want to glorify and magnify him. Well, what happened to that man? You know, I tell you what, worms ate him up. He got sick all of a sudden and worms ate him up. Well, we've got a totally different story today. You know, I know what it is. It's about Paul and Thardis, and they was going to give God, the, give God the glory at all times. And what happened now, Chesley? Here they were. They were preaching, uh, preaching the truth. But first, I want to read a text here. Uh, what we, and, and that's going to be it's like the main thing. Yeah, that, that's the, the main verse. Said, men, why are you doing these things? And what was he doing? Oh, he was trying to worship them. He said, we are also men of the same nature as you, and we preach the gospel to you that you should turn from these vain things, these idols that you're worshiping. To, and I want you to, we want you to worship the living God, God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. That's right, Chesley. That's what was said. It was a wonderful, glorious thing, what the Lord was doing here, how God was using them, and then they had this happen. Now I know what it is. It's the old devil wants to send in. That's right. The devil wants to step in, but God took this opportunity. What it was, you know, Chesley, they had been to another city of Conium, and this was, of course, in the Bible lands. And, you know, there was, a, they, the Lord was using it. He and the miracles, and it was just great. It was wonderful. Miracles were happening. And Chesley, it was a good thing as they were trusting in God and people were believing in the one true God. You know, they just going to listen in. And then I know what the old devil didn't like. The devil hates truth. And he didn't like that people were turning to the one true God. And so he got unstirred up. Well, there was some people, that's right. They said, we don't believe that Jesus is the son of God. Well, he still is. Well, I know he still is, and he always will be, but they got things all stirred up. So what happened when, when they did that? Well, Paul and, and Barnabas was doing their best to preach. He, they, they was going to get him. Uh, you know, they, was, no, they weren't going to be able to preach because they were being they were after him, going to catch him and want to uh, do everything they could to. I mean, they are going to try to hurt him. Uh, that's right. And so, Chesley, what they did, they said, well, we've preached here what we could, and we've told the glorious story of Jesus. And, and many people had been saved and set free from sins, and, and, and they're 
there had been healings. Yes, there had been miracles of healing and no telling whatever, what else there had been. But now they went to other places. They said, we'll just keep spreading the gospel. No, that's right. So here they went into this place called Lystra. And they went, that's right, a place called Lystra. And at Lystra, there was a man who was sitting there who had, you know, he was a crippled man. And he had never walked. He, he didn't learn how. Well, Chesley, he was so crippled from the time of his birth. He, he was born crippled. So he didn't know what it was to walk. But, but this man, he was listening to Paul and as and Barnabas as they spoke. It was particularly a Paul was preaching as he spoke. And he's, what he did, he looked at this man. I don't know what he saw. And this man wants to be healed. That's right. He saw that this man wants to be healed. And you know what? I don't know what Jesus is the healer. He, Jesus is the healer. And the Apostle Paul, here he was, a man of God that loved the Lord. And he recognized that this man, he had faith and he wanted to be healed. He had faith and trust and confidence in God. He definitely did. He had faith in And so he just looked in and said with a loud voice. No, I mean, he didn't whisper. Oh, no, he didn't whisper. He with a loud voice. He said, stand up right on your feet. And you know what happened? That man just jumped up. The Bible said he leaped up and he began to walk. He didn't even have to learn. He didn't even have to learn, Chesley. He went walking. I know what it was. It was the power of God. It was the power of God. Oh, what a great thing. Stand to your feet. He leaped up and began to walk. Can you imagine that? What a great victory when the, when the crowd saw that. What, and they thought that Paul had did had done that. No, oh, it wasn't him. I, 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 I tell you what, he was a healer. It was Jesus. And that's what Paul knew. And so what they began, some of these people began to say, Oh, Paul. Uh, they began to say, Paul and Barnabas. And said, Oh, they're like the gods have come down in the form of man. They're gods. No, oh, no, sir. They said, Don't you? And they even named them names. They said, Oh, this is the god Zeus has come down. And Hermes has come down. And, and here come the priest of Zeus. And his temple was just outside the city. And he comes. You know, I know what I saw it right now. I saw it in scripture of uh, what's going to happen. They said we're going to offer, um, you know, that sacrifices to them. And we're going to, you no, know, we're going to worship them. You know, I tell you what, Carlos and Saul heard of that. And saw they said it didn't happen. And that's what immediately, instead of being like Herod when he said yes, yes, he would accept all that worship. No, they said no. All glory go to God. No, that's the way it is. All give, we'll give the glory to Jesus. Well, Chelsea, we don't have. Uh, permission to have the rights to that song so we can't be singing that but it is a great song we'll give the glory to jesus you can look that song up and so this is what this is kind of the way they were saying it i don't know if they knew that song but they were that's what they were saying in essence was we'll give all the glory to god and said don't look on us we're, we're just people just men like you they said so you know we you give the glory to god and said, so we're going to worship him so they just you know, that's what then the people were they were so excited. They just thought that the gods had come down. Well, they what? And you know something? I tell you what. It was an opportunity to have fallen down. That it was an opportunity that they could have fallen down. They could have been just like these others. Said, okay, we'll just give in. Oh yeah, it's pretty good to be honored. You know what? They would have just honored them. Did you know what? It's not having God's honor. There's it, there's a whole difference in having the honor of the Lord and by being faithful to the Lord. No, no, Lord, just one day they're going to heaven. One day they're going to heaven and live forever. And that's where they are now. But Chesley, and listen what Paul said. He said, men, why are you doing these things? We are men of the same nature as you and preach the gospel to you that you should turn from these idols, these vain things to the living God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. Oh my, he said, that's what you need to pay attention to. We're telling you about the one true God. It's not us. We are just preaching this truth to you. Believe him, accept him with all of your heart. Oh, I tell you what, we'll give the glory to Jesus. That was the right thing to do. And I know Satan hated that. You know what happened right after this great victory? You know, I tell you something, I know the little devil was wanting to fight. Well, he, he got, here come some other people in that they didn't believe in Jesus and they didn't believe he was the son of God. So what they did, they got the people, some of the people all stirred up. You know, I know now, I don't know what things they're going to get. In. Well, Chelsea, they went out and they especially went after I went after Paul. They went after him, and they, they beat him. And so next thing you knew, he was left for dead. <laughs> oh, my. I tell you what. And you know something? If they'd had all that glory, it wouldn't have happened. You know, Chester, that would have been just a, just for a little while. 
they could have accepted all of that praise and all. And oh yes, they would have offered, they was going to offer sacrifices and they was going to, you know, honor them. And they would probably have a meeting here, the nice Lord. Oh yeah, their clothes would be amazing. They would just have a nice place to stay. But that would have been just for here, just a short time. And instead, what they said, we'll give the glory to the Lord and live in Him for eternity. That's what they said. This is we're going to serve the Lord here, and we're going to work for the Lord here. And there was going to be healings and miracles and, and just helping others, spreading this glorious gospel. They said that's what we're going to keep doing. But you know what, Jesse? The story I was just telling you at the end. Did you know that Paul? Did, they thought they had killed him. You know what? God raised him up. And he went on preaching the gospel. Well, he and, and Barnabas, they just went on preaching the gospel and giving the glory to God. And they set a good example, Chesley. Now, I tell you, it was better than, than that guy, Herod. Oh, that's why Herod did the wrong thing. And there he lost his soul, lost his life. Here he is. That was a horrible thing. But we have a great example here. This is what we need to do is give the glory to God. We'll give all the glory to God. Don't you dare worship us is what they were saying. That's the title of our of our story today. Our lesson today is don't you dare worship us. That's what Paul and Barnabas said. No, 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 don't worship us. He said, look what the Lord has done. We're going to worship him. He said, we're, we're going to tell you about the one true God, the living God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. And they would, were telling these people, just think how the Lord has blessed you. And he sent the rain, given you the crops. It's been God. And, and, and they thought it was those idols. They thought it was the idols, but said, we're telling you the truth. And you have a choice to make, to believe or disbelieve. I believe in the truth. I want the truth too, Chesley. And I'm glad that some of these people did too. That's where it always is. Some believe, some disbelieve. But they did the right thing. Don't accept worship. Give all the glory to God. So, Chesley, that finishes our story. Worship God, never men. Herod learned the hard way in Acts chapter 12. We don't want to be like him. So we have a choice. Who do you choose? I'm saying to these kids, who do you choose? Who do you choose? And there's adults listening too. We say, who do we choose? We choose Jesus. We're going to serve and worship him. That's right, we are, Chesley. But right now, you're going to go to bed. Oh, I thought that was happening. I knew it was coming. Uh, can we either just dodge this issue? Oh, no, we're not going to dodge this issue, Chesley. It's time for you to go to bed. But then I'm not even sleepy. And, and you know what? Uh, my hair's not messed up. No, your hair's not messed up. You look good. But still, you need to go to bed. Because, uh, because why? Because, uh, Chesley, it, you shouldn't argue and fuss. It, it's just uh, making the point. Oh, I know you're making your point. But I'm making a point that it's time for you to go to bed because you know, because you're getting ready to go to church. All right, we have church tonight. So right now you tell everybody goodbye and you look forward to seeing them next week. I tell you what, I look forward to seeing you next week. I can't hardly wait. And I just love you, love you, love you. Don't you dare worship idols, but worship the one true you God. That's right, Chesley. Until next week, you be, you be blessed. And you honor the Lord with all of your heart, your soul, your mind, your spirit. And, and, and read God's word. Read God's word and, and, and pray all day. Just pray all during the day. Just tell the Lord how much you love him. And she got a little time here, but now you're going to bed. Goodbye. We love all of you. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.